Jaydeep Ghosh, partner of Telecom at KPMG, now joins us from Delhi. Jaydeep, pleasure having you on the show. Uh, what have you made of Indus merging into Bharti in Fratel? Uh, what does this mean for the overall plans for Bharti in particular? So I think this, uh, you know, this approval of the merger and the merger process uh, going through was anticipated for uh, quite some time. Of course, several of the regulatory approvals are, are needs to be taken and uh, which will take a while, perhaps the, the current financial year. This, uh, to summarize, and I was uh, trying to cope up with the several numbers and statistics which uh, our colleague was, you know, uh, speaking about in the last, um, you know, couple of minutes when I joined um, you as such. So I think it, it uh, to summarize because numbers have been mentioned. I think it makes ample sense uh, for all these stakeholders, not only Bharti Airtel and uh, Indus Tower and, and, and Infratel, also for Vodafone Idea and, and Providence, uh, both from uh, purely if you look at a, you know financial investment, you know, exit that kind of strategy, as well as from an operational synergy and. Uh, what makes sense for the business uh, given the current situation where the telecom sector overall and the tower sector uh, you know has kind of uh, now reached here from where it was uh, a few years back so it definitely makes ample business sense as well as you know purely if one looks at it from a financial investment it, it makes uh, a lot of sense specifically on you know the fact that this combined entity will now control one third of the towers in in, in india 35% uh, market share. The numbers are pretty staggering in that sense, Jaydeep. Uh, do you see this sailing through all regulatory approvals easily? So I think, see, uh, we have a, a similar ratio. And last uh, evening, I was, uh, you know, on on Global Quint uh, with you, uh, where the significant market power for the operator was. Uh, you know, defined by TRVI as 30% share of the market, either by revenue or by number of subscribers, which of course for now has been kind of uh, stayed by the appellate authority. So 35% in any industry is, is a significant number. However, uh, as we have seen, and just to summarize, the tower, telecom tower industry, you know, when Indus was set up a uh, decade back, it was a pioneering move in the Indian context and probably also in the world context. From there, we've seen many transitions and mostly we are seeing, you know, consolidation uh, into a few hands. So we've seen even Vodafone and Idea in the process of very recently, you know, uh, their independent towers uh, being uh, acquired by or in the process of being acquired by ATC American Tower, and, and we've seen Reliance Communications uh, selling off, I think, 43,000 towers, uh, though that's now kind of, again, under some uh, uh, some process and NCLT issues. But by and large, the trend has been to kind of, you know, uh, in the last two years or so, to kind of hive off the tower. So we will see, uh, I mean, to summarize, we will see, you know, uh, not too many, maybe three, uh, maybe four at best, you know, Tower entities, um, either independent or, you know, operator-owned, operator-led, which is uh, what the picture will emerge. Which is uh, similar to what the picture is uh, in in the you know global or Asian scenario. In, in terms of, I must uh, say one thing. You know, globally, uh, only 15, 15 percent of towers, telecom towers, are held by independent tower companies. The rest. 80 odd percentage are, are held still by operator backed or joint ventures of the operators. To that extent, we should see a similar picture emerging here, not more than three or four significant tower companies. So that, that should be fine. You know, you, you mentioned when Indus Towers were set up 10 years ago. I remember having this conversation with you 10 years ago when this was seen as a, as a fairly sort of, uh, you know, revolutionary milestone for the telecom industry. Uh, do you think it has actually played out the way it was envisaged? Uh, and are telecom companies happier getting rid of this out of their books and, and sitting separately? Uh, because, you know, the core business itself is going through another phase of consolidation. Yeah, and that's what I was saying, and I'm and, and glad you reminded me of a conversation a decade back. Uh, you know, makes me feel quite old, though, uh, on a lighter side. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think it's by and large played. See, the industry dynamics has also changed, and tower industry is largely, though several of the tower companies have in the past or even now tried out, you know, related associated ventures, not solely depending on telecom, you know, antenna and equipment there, but other things on the energy side and other initiatives. But by and large, uh, I think it, it's fulfilled, the, in my opinion, I, I mean, I think, again, the 
telecom operator, you know, senior management uh, may be able to give their perspective. I think by and large the perspective of hiving off even by Vodafone idea and, and Bharti Airtel a decade back uh, to an independent, uh, of course, operator backed entity. That's the trend which has been coming that let's get the tower business, a separate business which serves me as well as others. And then, then even if I have a 40% share of or, or whatever, I'm still you know, better off uh, from a financial perspective and also from an operational uh, synergy perspective. I think it's fine. I mean, the, the game has changed. I mean, you, you know as much as I know. One point of time, the number of tower growth was anticipated to be huge. 2008, 10, several new operators came in. Then it was a game of you know tenancy enhancement. One tower, can we make it three, four operators? Mm -hmm. Now we have seen exits in telecom sector, mergers. Now the game is more on other areas in terms of loading and, and so on and so forth. And then we'll see some growth with the 5G coming and, and so on. So we'll see tower growth, and, but not what we saw, you know, those days, 10 years back. Good talking to you, Jadeep. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Jadeep, for joining us with your views. Jadeep goes from KPMG talking about the uh, Indus Bharti Infratel deal and its impact on the overall telecom sector.